They say that the night before your first performance, the Magic Castle, you can't sleep. I can tell you it's true. This place is, to a magician, what Carnegie Hall or the Grand Ole Opry are to musicians. I grew up daydreaming about performing here and studying the work of master performers who made their reputations under this roof. It's the place where you bring your very best. It's such a thrill to be here at the Magic Castle, where the most famous magicians you've never heard of <laughs> leave the safety of our parents' basements to astound you in the lap of luxury. This is the Playboy Mansion for 34-year-old virgins. And ladies, if you're wondering, I'm 35. <laughs> so uh, in seven and one half seconds, uh, this diaphanous strand of soft Egyptian cotton will be gone. Uh, what makes this interesting is it's not gonna be hidden. It's not gonna be like inside my hand where you can't see it. If you watch closely enough, you'll actually see it dematerialize right in front of your face. Uh, can't get out through this side. We're gonna block off the only way out of that glass. So that sucker is sealed in full view. Ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you to lean forward. Please don't blink, don't look away, don't take your eyes off of that white handkerchief. Let's be honest, not the most interesting thing uh, one can do uh, with one of these. And for that, uh, there's a gentleman uh, in a, uh, a, very eve a very lovely uh, tuxedo. Your name, sir? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Keith, it's good to meet you, Keith. It's a pleasure. Uh, and we, we also have a gentleman uh, here. Your name, sir? Robert. Robert, it's a pleasure to meet you, Robert. Uh, Robert and Keith, I'm gonna be honest with you, I kinda zeroed in on you. There was a reason for that. You seem poised, you seem confident, you seem reasonably sober. <laughs> Keith and Robert, you seem like you would be incredible on stage. Uh, would you join me for a moment? The people will go crazy for you, I know they will. Give it up for Keith and Robert, ladies and gentlemen. Robert and Keith, welcome gentlemen. Pleasure to see you. How are you, Robert? I appreciate you. Well, right, right about here is perfect. And uh, Keith, it's a pleasure, sir. How are you, my friend? Uh, welcome. Pleasure to meet you. Keith and Robert, ladies and gentlemen. Robert and, Robert and Keith. And uh, Keith, I'm going to invite you to extend your right hand, uh, palm upward, kind of uh, excellent, and just a bit higher for my friends in the back. Excellent. And uh, I'm going to ask you to grasp onto that. And Robert, come to us. And Robert, with your left hand, grasp onto the very top, kind of lock that sucker in. And that's the spot we're interested in. That spot right there, right about. And you guys can feel that tension. Yes. Through there. One, 
two. <laughs> but there's a problem, ladies and gentlemen. There's a problem. I supplied this very masculine chiffon. <laughs> it was I who supplied the champagne glass. So how do you know this isn't one of those like selectively permeable holograms you've read so much <laughs> about? Uh, and it's a general problem with, with when a magician comes out and he, he brings out the objects that are going to be performed with because maybe I've been backstage fiddling around with it. 35. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, it's much more interesting if we use the objects that, that, that you provide. And uh, what, do you, what do you have on you, Bob? You have some cash on you? Um. Go, ahead and, go ahead and take that out for us as we come through there. I uh, surprise you. Uh, excellent, my friend. Uh, uh, whatever you feel comfortable, whatever you feel comfortable bringing out on the magic show, a five dollar bill. Excellent. Uh, I respect that, Bob. Uh, Bob, uh, I'm going to invite you to hold on to that for a moment uh, because we're, we need to be sure that it's the very same five dollar bill at the end as it is at the beginning. And so it has its own serial number, which in this case is M I one two zero six one one six seven A. So just remember that for us. Right. <laughs> and make, things, make things a little bit easier for you, Bob. I'm going to invite you to take the marker, and I'm going to invite you to take uh, the bill and place the take the marker, uh, place the bill up against my back, Bob. And Bob, I invite you to write Bob in big, bold capital letters all across the bill. Okay. That feels nice. <laughs> it's like a little shiatsu back there. It's really, really incredible. Uh, Bob, I'll take the marker. If you would show everyone very clearly that you've just committed a felony. <laughs> and Robert, I need you to rob a liquor store for me. It's all, all part of the magic show. Uh, we're going to take Bob's $5 bill, and we're going to transform it before your very eyes into something more valuable. We could make it like a, we could make it like a 10, or a 20, or a, well, that's an excellent point, sir. No, that really is. That's so expected. That's conventional. That's how you'd expect a magician to make your, your money more valuable. Uh, Pablo Picasso, the rumor has it, would go shopping with just like a marker and a bit of paper. Because what he created was so much more valuable than mere money. And so we're going to take Bob's lowly cash and we're going to transform it into a piece of art. A work of abstract, expressionist, origami sculpture I like to call the tight wide. <laughs> and let's, let's review, shall we? Let's review. Uh, we borrowed Bob's cash very generously. Bob took the marker. Bob wrote all over it. And now it's been transformed into a piece of art. And Robert, if you would pinch onto Bob's wad for us. That's Keith. Oh, that's Keith. My apologies. <laughs> Keith, if you would pinch onto Bob's wad for us and uh, kind of keep that, keep that nice and safe. And uh, who here do we trust with a sharp object, a razor sharp <laughs> object of death and destruction? He's pointing to you, ma'am. Is that because he thinks you're safe or because he wants to see blood as part of the magic? Um, it's your birthday. We never, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. That's so cool. Thank you for celebrating with us. Would you mind holding on to the knife? I don't want to impose on somebody on their birthday. On the, uh, uh, and, and your name, sir? Lex. Lex, good to meet you. Lex, and Lex, just don't stab anyone in like the next five minutes. Uh, so, so Lex is guarding this blade. Uh, Keith is guarding Bob's wad. Bob, <laughs> you need something interesting to do, my friend. Bob needs something interesting to do. Bob, you, my friend, shall be the guardian of the magic fruit. <laughs> And Bob, I would ask you as if you were Simba on the Serengeti. <laughs> With two hands, present the fruit mm -hmm. to the people, Bob. <laughs> present the fruit. <laughs> and Bob, charm them with your eyes, Bob. Charm them. <laughs> now, very important, Keith. We need to know at all times exactly where Bob's wad is. Oh. We'll leave that sucker isolated right there. And Bob, for my friends way in the back, if you would hold, the, hold, the, uh, hold that sucker really, really tight. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, don't blink. Don't look away. Don't take your eyes off of this spot. A seed, 
And if the seed is where the cash was, then the cash must be. Who's got the blade? May I, Lex? Yes. That's a single voice. Come to me, come to me, come to me. That's a single, come closer, come closer. Both of you. Uh, that's a single solid blade. There's nowhere to hide anything, Keith. Those hands are empty. That magic fruit has been in full view since before Bob's wad vanished. And in the very center of the magic fruit, which itself is sealed by nature. There's a little something growing, right? <laughs> In the very middle. Pull that out for us, Keith. It's fresh. It's Bob's right. blood. Keith, unpeel it. Unwrap it. Unstick it. Unpeel it. Unwrap it. Unstick it. Unroll it. Unwad it. Show it to the people, Keith, that that is the same piece of federal property that Bob defaced. <laughs> Let's give it up for these guys. Give it up for these guys. Now we have some gifts for them. We have some gifts for them. First, for Bob, we have a souvenir carrying case. <laughs> so we'll keep this nice and fresh. It's perfectly Perfect. spendable, Bob. Uh, you can always put it on eBay, <laughs> where you will get at least five dollars. <laughs> Plus shipping and handling, which is uh, where you make the real money, Bob. Yeah. So you are amazing, my friend. Thank Truly you, appreciate man. you. Bob, ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for Bob. Now, Keith, at this moment, we have a gift for Keith that is far more valuable than money. Napkin. Moist towelettes. <laughs> There's citrus in it. Thank you so much, Keith. <laughs> Truly appreciate you. Keep it going for Keith, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going for Keith. Well, guys, I, I don't know if they mentioned this earlier. I come to you from Orlando, Florida. And Orlando is, that's the appropriate response. That's completely. Uh, Orlando is a strange place to be from, where everyone else comes from all around the world to stand in line for hours, marinating in their own sweat. <laughs> the screams of toddlers echoing in their ears. Orlando is a land of imagination, wonder, $17 soda, and chafed inner thighs. <laughs> but as much fun as I have with Orlando, I have to be honest, there's, there's something I love about the fact that my city is on a map, not because of anything physical, not because there was gold or oil in the ground or timber or because it was near a railroad crossing. Our natural resource is the imagination. Walt Disney saw what was basically a swamp and he had a vision for that that was, it really was, and he had a vision for that that was so compelling that generations of people from all around the world flocked to experience it. Almost like having a vision for an old Victorian house on a hill that's made it into an international landmark. So tonight, we're going to use your vision to create something that hadn't existed before. And there's a gentleman in a red tie, uh, very tastefully tied, and he's looking around to see if there's anyone else in the room who fits that description. Uh, what is your name, sir? Kunal. 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 My apologies, Kunal. Uh, Kunal. Uh, and there's a lady next to you. Your name? Colby, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, we've got the we've got the, the hard consonants. That's good. This is good. Kunal and Colby. Uh, Colby and Kunal, I think you would be amazing for this. Would you mind joining me for a moment? The people will go crazy for you. I know they will. Welcome Kunal and Colby. And such a gentleman. Excellent. Welcome, Colby. How are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, right, right over here, Colby and Kunal. It's a pleasure. How are you, sir? It's good to see you. Excellent. Welcome. Uh, well, welcome, guys. Uh, Colby, you shall be the guardian of the mysterious envelope. The mysterious envelope. <laughs> that was not cheap, guys. That was not cheap. <laughs> Inside the mysterious envelope, Colby. Uh, we have a book. We'll get back to that in a moment. Uh, we also, uh, Colby, I'd invite you to take a moment. Make sure there is, uh, and you can take it yourself. Make sure there's nothing in the mysterious envelope but the faint 
aroma of Wilshire Boulevard. <laughs> yeah, that's good, excellent. That was desperation you yeah. were smelling there. Um, very important, we're gonna seal this down, Colby, and it's very important from the moment it is, it is under your protection until the big amazing thing happens. I am not allowed to touch this envelope, Colby. If I touch it, uh, you have my permission to slap me in the mouth and storm off in disgust, <laughs> all right? Uh, now, Colby, uh, there's a tag right here. That'll be important to you uh, in just a couple minutes. Okay. And Colby, I'm gonna invite you to take one small step backwards. We're gonna put the envelope right there. And Colby, I invite you uh, to stand on the envelope. Okay. Excellent. And Colby, look intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, Kunal, uh, in part, your responsibility is to make sure that I do exactly as Colby instructs me to do. Uh, we're going to... Uh, Can I slap you in the face as well? I appreciate your eagerness, <laughs> Kunal, absolutely. Uh, Colby, uh, we're going to run that bookmark through the book. Uh, you're going to say stop when you want me to stop. Kunal. If I stop when she tells me to stop. I don't stop. You don't? No, 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 no. If I stop when she tells me to stop. Uh, we're going to give them all a, it's good. Let's practice, shall we? It's good. good. No, no, no. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay. It's good. Okay, cool. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. That works. That works. We've established, we've established a pattern. Perfect, Colby. Stop. That's okay. That was a practice round. That was a practice round, Colby. That was a practice round. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Kunal, I am going to show Colby uh, the page number and the first word on the page. Uh, Colby, uh, I invite you to remember whatever it is. Really burn it into your mind. Uh, don't like say it out loud or anything. Uh, Kunal, I'll be honest. I'm going to like try and cheat. I'm going to try and like look and see what it is. Uh, to keep me from doing that, uh, you and I are going to get lost in the depths of each other's souls. <laughs> Only awkward if we make it, Kunal. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Let me know. And do you have that, Colby? Yeah. Your request oh. Oh, sorry. My apologies. Are they at your seat by chance? <laughs> no, they're not. Okay. Uh, and Kunal, if you want to grab the page number and the first word on the page. Okay. Excellent. And let's let's give somebody else a glimpse just for security's sake. Too. Uh, you guys have it, or somebody? Uh, yeah. Okay. You got the. Uh, Excellent. You've got that as well? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Kunal, I'm going to invite you to lock that down with two hands, kind of, yeah, perfect. Uh, so we've got Kobe, uh, we've got Kunal, and you were able to see it, right? In the, uh, perfect. Um, well, we're all set. Uh, yeah, lock that down. Uh, just kind of keep two hands on it at all times and close. And uh, I'm going to take a union break. <laughs> How are you guys? Good to see you. Uh, welcome. Uh, good to see you, man. How are you? Uh, may, I, may I join you guys? There are two seats open right here. Is that all right? Uh, normally, they normally they leave cocktails here. Uh, what is uh, what is what is your name? Shannon. It's good to meet you. And David. Good to meet you guys. I'm Nathan. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna try and uh, come on, go ahead and keep that closed for us. Kind of protect that. Yeah. Absolutely. You'll see why in a moment. It'll be very important. I promise. Uh, we're going to try together to read Colby and Kunal's minds. We're going to use their imagination to do that. And we'll start, uh, we'll start here with Colby. Uh, Colby, I want you to picture that word on like a, uh, do you have it? Yeah. Or do you need me to, do we, should we do this with Kunal? <laughs> we'll do it with Kunal, okay. Uh, I respect that, Colby, I respect that. Uh, Kunal, uh, I invite you to picture that word really big, spelled out like on a billboard. And Kunal, any two of those letters, Inside your brain, I want you to switch switch their places, like flip them around, if that makes sense. And Kunal, Kunal, inside your head, did you flip an F and an O? Yes. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's, that's interesting. Um, let's take it to the next level. Kunal, uh, the last digit of the page number, uh, do, you, do you remember what this was, Colby? You do. Okay, cool. We'll try Kobe for this. We'll, 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 uh, Kobe, uh, one, two, three. Oh, I should say, keep like a keep like a poker face. Like just like look dead inside for us. Don't give any indication. This is where we're all trying. Everybody study Kobe's face. See if you can figure out what the number is as we come through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you guys catch that? <laughs> it's very subtle. It's a general sense of relaxation. So you don't have to keep up a false front anymore, Kobe, because we passed your number. Is that right? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Uh, two, three, four, five, two. Three, four, five. <laughs> Did you guys notice the left dimple? <laughs> it's a slight switch, it's a slight switch. Three, four, five, three, four. How many people think three? 
Four. How many people think four? Uh, Raise your hand if you think four. I think four too. Kobe, are you thinking the number four? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are good. You guys are good. Let's take it to the next level. Let's imagine something that we know not to be true. I want you guys to imagine that page exactly as you saw it, but picture it ripped out like it's, it was never even there. Kunal, what was the page number? 104. 104. Kunal, if you would do me the honor of turning to page 104, please. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> and Kunal, take, take a moment. Keep, keep, keep looking through. Make sure there's not like another page 104 somewhere there that's hiding, that they're not like all page 104, that they're not the same word on every page number. Uh, remember, folks, a millisecond earlier or later would have been a completely different page number, but you stopped on, on 104. Oh, where could it have gone? <laughs> Colby, are you, are you are you imagining it inside that envelope? Yes. Now, Colby, normally I'd be a gentleman and I'd pick the envelope up myself, but I'm under threat of physical violence if I do that. And so I'm going to invite you to go ahead and pick up that envelope for us. Okay. And it has that tab that says to lift, to open, lift tab and pull quickly. I invite you to lift that tab and pull quickly. And show me your hands empty. Oh. No one's looking at her hands. And reach inside. <laughs> Come on. Now wait, 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 let's not do anything just yet. Let's not do anything just yet. Not do anything just yet. Because there's a problem, right? There's a problem. It's page 104, is that right? And that's the one you saw, and it's got the words, you, those are the words you saw, and it's from Joseph Conrad's, but maybe I just go around in Books A Million all day, ripping out page 104 of Hearts of Darkness, it could happen. Um, how do we know it is the same page, but how do we know it is the same page, the very same piece of paper they were looking at while that envelope was under Colby. Colby, let's see how we did. Oh. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> Unusual. You were awesome, Kunal. Truly appreciate it. Colby, you were fantastic as well. Kunal and Colby, ladies and gentlemen. Colby and Kunal. Well, are you guys having a good time so far? Yeah. Excellent. Do we, have the, uh, do we have the energy for one more? Yeah for one more excellent folks this last piece is something that means a great deal to me and, and it isn't it isn't easy um, so it's, it's a bit serious and the reason is we're talking about living in Orlando and last week was a difficult week for us it was the second anniversary of our worst morning as a city and that was June 12th 2016 when we woke up to the news that someone whose name I refuse to remember had walked into the Pulse nightclub, which had been an important place for many of my friends as they were learning that they were not alone and finding a sense of community. And we learned that morning that he'd cut short 49 lives. And getting that news was like being punched in the solar plexus. And that act, at its core, was about trying to divide us, to separate us out into gay and straight, Muslim, Christian, non-believer, To have us see ourselves defined by our differences as so many little pieces. Because the farther apart we are, the smaller we are, the weaker we are. But something interesting happened. And it started just a couple days afterwards in the way strangers would look at each other in the grocery store with the sense that we're all in this together to the lines that stretched over a mile to donate blood, to 10,000 of us coming together on the lawn of the Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts downtown to say that we refuse to live in fear of each other. Because now, more than ever, our city
is one. My name's Nathan Comarsh. I hope you had as much fun with me as I did with you. See you guys come next time.